Good morning, CFA, and welcome to our chapel online. It's Mr. Sosa here, your assistant principal, and I'm so excited that I get to start us off this morning. And so before we go over to CF Kids in Worship, let's pray to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you so much for today. We thank you for another great day that we get to worship you and sing out to you because we're grateful for all that you've done. And so, God, would you speak to us this morning as we read your word and as we sing out to you, Father? Would you show us a little bit more of your goodness so we can know you better? We love you so much, Father. This day is all for you. Amen. Let's go over to CF Kids and sing out to God.
question for you. What is your fear? What is it that you're afraid of? I remember a time when I was eight years old and I was sharing a room with my brother. We had a bunk bed and he slept on top and I slept on the bottom. So one day I'm laying there trying to fall asleep in the dark and I see in the corner of my room an outline of what looks like a person. And I'm thinking, who is hiding in the corner of my room? And I got so scared. And so I covered myself with my blanket. And I thought, maybe if I hide down here, it'll go away. A couple minutes go by. I lowered the blanket and there it is. The shape was still there hiding in the dark corner next to my closet. And so being afraid and not knowing what to do, I called out to my dad. I said, dad, dad, quick, come. I think somebody's in the room. And my dad opened the door and he turned on the light. And what did I see? A pile of neatly folded clothes that was left there. My clothes in the dark scared me. So I ask again, what are you afraid of? I want to share with you a story from 1 Samuel chapter 17, where we see God's people, the Israelites, afraid and shaking in their boots. So what were they afraid of? It was a big, scary man named Goliath. See, Goliath was a giant that was part of the army of the Philistines, and they were the Israelites' enemies. And there Goliath stood, screaming and taunting and making fun of all of God's people. And not one of them, not even Saul, was willing to go up and fight against Goliath. What were they afraid of? Why were they so afraid of Goliath? Well, let's break down the story a little bit. The Bible tells us that Goliath was over nine feet tall. That is really tall. That's like bigger than an NBA player. Not only was he tall, but he was also covered in a full scale set of armor that weighed over 5,000 shekels. He also had a helmet that was made out of bronze and it was impenetrable. And he carried a, a staff with a spear at the end that was really, really sharp. So this dude looked very scary. But not only did Goliath look scary, he sounded scary too. And so here we have God's people, the Israelites, looking left and looking right. And they're thinking, who is going to save us from this man? Some of them were so terrified, they even ran away. Then enters David into the story. Yeah, you know King David, who was a man after God's own heart, but he was just a boy in this story. And when he saw the way that Goliath was talking about God, he was not afraid to say something. I can understand why the Israelites were afraid. Goliath was scary looking. And when I think about me as a kid and seeing that pile of clothes in the dark and thinking it was somebody, I know that we are afraid when we don't see the whole picture or we can't really understand what's going on. It's normal to be afraid. But the difference is with David that he knew the God that he served. The God that David served is the same God who tells us in Philippians 4, 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And so that is exactly what David did. David first remembered all that God had already done for him. And we see that in verse 37 of the story. David talks about a lion and a bear that he once killed to protect himself and that God had helped him in those moments. And David knew that God was going to help him again. And so in verse 49, we see that because of David's faith in God, God shows up and he helps David. David goes out to the battlefield and he tells Goliath, I'm not going to let you talk about the living God like that. That's my God. And I will not let you talk like that. And Goliath sees David and he laughs and he thinks, this is who you send out to fight me. And there David is. And what does he do? He takes a couple stones. He takes his slingshot and he slings the stone at Goliath and he knocks Goliath over and wins the battle. Because of David's faith, he trusted in God and God gave him the strength and the wisdom to do what's right. We all have different fears, but God wants us to come to him with our fears so he can help us overcome them. It might be the dark for some. It might be a certain animal for another or something that you're afraid of happening in the future. But God wants you to bring it to him so that he can give you the victory. Instead of being afraid, instead of being stuck, if you ask God for help, he's going to help you move forward and overcome. 
We can do the same thing David did. We can ask God for help and we can watch God knock down the Goliath in our life and give us a victory. When we're afraid, God doesn't want us to stay anxious and worried and constantly thinking about what can go wrong. God doesn't want us to run away like some of the Israelites did and run from our fears and lose out on things that are really cool that could happen in our life if we stand firm and move forward. God wants us to remember his word. He wants us to hide his word in our heart, not only so that we don't sin against him, but so we can have faith when we need it. And God wants us to remember all the good things he's already done for us. God wants us to remember his word. You know our verse that says we hide his word in our hearts so we don't sin against them? We also remember his word so that we have faith when we need it most. When the enemy is making us think that we should be afraid, that we should quit, that we should give up, that we should run away, God wants us to stand firm on his word and his word will help us move forward and be victorious. And God wants you to remember to have faith, faith that he sees you, that he loves you, and that he wants to help you. Always remember, God has a great plan for your life, and it's not to run away afraid. It's not to live in fear. It's not to hide under a rock, but God's plan for your life is to go out and share the gospel of Jesus, and that takes bravery, and God will give you it through the Holy Spirit. And so why don't we go to the Lord right now, and let's pray that he would make us brave and that we could trust him. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I thank you so much for today. I thank you that we can trust you because you're good. And not only are you good, you're all powerful. And not only are you all powerful, God, but you love us. And you have an amazing plan for our life. And so I pray that anyone today who's watching, who's dealing with fear, God, that your Holy Spirit would remove that fear and replace it with faith. God, that our faith would overcome our fear. Your word tells us that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love and power and a sound mind. God, I ask you that you would give us peace today, peace in the middle of every storm, to trust that we have a God who loves us and who is going to help us. Thank you, God. And we thank you for the story of David and Goliath. And I ask you that it would just empower us to live by faith. We love you so much, Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I hope that you have an amazing day. There's going to be a couple questions that are going to pop up in just a moment. Make sure you and your classmates and your teacher talk together about them, and we will see you in next week's chapel.